Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. I'm actually at Freetown Farm today. I'm going to show you how to plant up bell peppers in a raised bed container, one with very high sides. I'll talk a little bit about setting up the container. You just don't need to put your best stuff down at the bottom, but up top, in the upper 10 inches, 12 inches, we want better quality uh, growing medium or soil. This video is sponsored by Promix. I highly recommend their garden mix product. It can be used in raised beds, containers, right out in the field, wherever you want to use it. You don't need a specialized bag product for everything. The Promix compressed pack, garden mix, use it wherever you want. You can even use it for seed starting. So we're going to set this space up. Before we get there, I want to just explain to you what we have down here. Down at the bottom, maybe the bottom quarter, we have uh, compost that didn't fully break down, some leaves, some sticks, even some hay just kind of filler. The soil life from down at the bottom will get into there. That will break it down over time. The material we put down there will be reached by the deeper roots of whatever you plant above it. And that's fine. It'll, it'll do its thing. In the middle, we have lesser quality soil. This is kind of sandy. Not a lot of organic matter in there. Again, we're filling up the bed with lesser quality materials and then when we get to the top we're going to be using the pro mix to set this up i'm going to put in some compost now i always say if you have a ton of compost it's well broken down you could fill up this whole uh, raised bed with compost and you're going to have a wonderful garden but most of us don't have that so we do have some compost that i'm going to put in and then i'm going to show you how i use the garden mix uh, from pro mix to set up the actual planting hole we're going to add fertilizer we're going to water this in with fish emulsion and just get everything set up right and then we're also going to put the pro mix across the top a couple of inches for the surface roots of the pepper plants you don't have to fill your entire bed with premium products. It's just going to be too expensive. So you got okay stuff, good stuff, better stuff. That's how we're going to do it. So let me get this set up. I'm going to bring in some of the compost and I'll show you all the stages to get at least a dozen of these bell peppers into here. The reason that I'm wanting to put the bell peppers here, they're actually purple, yellow, orange, red. All this, All the space right in here is going to be raised beds, all kinds of different vegetables. We have benches set up. We have bricks going down. This so place is under construction to really be a focal point for community members to come in, take a look at different designs, raised beds. Um, we're going to have earth beds. We have containers in the back. And look at, you know, maybe something they may want to take out of this garden, take the, to their property, and then they can start their own garden. All right, let me get to setting up this raised bed here. I added some better soil into the raised bed. It's not the best. I thought we had more compost, but we don't. So this is kind of a blend of compost and some soil, some sandier soil. That's okay because that's still in the, the middle range. We're going to upgrade this using the ProMix product. Again, this is a garden mix you can buy, but you can use it for seed starting, use it for your vegetables, herbs, flowers, use it in containers, use it wherever you want. You don't need a specialized bag for each part of your garden. Love the easy handle pick it up, carry it to your car, to your garden. This also uses 40% less plastic, so it's really, uh, I think, a smart choice for the environment. Now, you're gonna need two types of fertilizer. You have your organic granular, and this is a slow release. This is slowly gonna break down over time, and it takes soil microbiology to break it down and put it into a form of nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium that your plant can use. That's gonna go in this level. I'll show you how to do that in a second. And then I'm gonna use fish emulsion, which is higher in nitrogen. Both of these are organic, and I water the peppers in with this. Gets them off, off to a great start. We'll do that at the end. So, I go by the handful. You don't have to be exact. This is gonna break down slowly. You can see that I did cut my knuckles, but I think I'll be okay. Each handful is maybe two tablespoons, three tablespoons. Fertilizer's down. I haven't mixed it in yet. We're gonna do that in a second. And then I'm gonna put in one of the compressed packs of the Pro Mix. This is just wonderful stuff. It's made with cocoa core, peat moss, perlite. It's going to hold water. It's going to fix up the soil. That's what you want. You really want the top six, eight inches to be a material, a soil ingredients that hold water. 
your pepper plants and all your plants will send out surface roots that will look for water and fertilizer. They'll also send roots straight down to the ground. So you can concentrate the better stuff on the surface. And just empty a patch in. And this is again to set up the next layer. You may need two bags, depending on how much you're using. And then I'm gonna take the time and just mix this through. This is incorporating the granular fertilizer, the Pro Mix into the soil. This is gonna hold moisture. And a lot of people ask, you know, what's your biggest tip for having a successful garden? And it's really even regular waterings. Your plants need water to, to thrive and to grow big and to really produce. They'll, they'll manage, you know, without, you know, proper watering and they'll still produce. But if you want wonderful production, steady watering. So I'm gonna throw in one more bag into here, mix it through. These are purple beauty peppers. And again, I'm gonna have different colored bell peppers in here. And I'm probably gonna call this, you know, uh, pick a peck of peppers. Is that right? Pick a peck of peppers with a sign on it, just for the new community members coming in to see what they can grow and, you know, to give them an idea that they can pick peppers and have them in their own home garden. Now, I did not put a second bag of the Pro Mix in here. When I mixed everything up, it kind of was nice and fluffy. This is what it looks like. And I'm going to set up the planting hole now. I'll show you how you can use the garden mix to set up the planting hole. You want to do that also so that you're putting good stuff around the root ball. But I'm also going to put in about an inch of mulch or two over time as these plants get bigger to help keep the moisture in there. So that's a really big help. So I didn't want to fill it up too high. So we're going to put in a purple beauty pepper right here. So I'm going to do one, two, and I'm spacing them maybe 12 inches apart. You can plant your peppers a lot more closely together than you might find online. They do really, really well. So you dig out the hole nice and loose. Here's some of that clay that I was talking about down at the bottom. Maybe a tablespoon of granular fertilizer. That again is slow release. Mix it through. You never want your plant roots sitting right on fertilizer. And then I'm going to take a couple handfuls of the Pro Mix and put it right into this planting hole. Get my shovel. I love these mid-range size shovels and you're just really prepping the planting area. And since I'm gonna put another pepper here, I don't wanna disturb the roots, so I'm gonna do the real, same thing real quick. Mix it through. And I do this for tomato plants, cucumbers, squash, zucchini. You just want the planting area to be the best it can be. And it's gonna hold that moisture, which is the key. All right, so the pepper, is gonna get planted to just above the surface of the soil. Beautiful roots. And just drop it down, just like that. Mound it up and then press it down. And now your pepper is well planted. We're gonna water this and at the end, I'll show you how to use the fish emulsion. So I'm gonna mix in the different colored bells going across here and then we'll pick up the video from there. So I did get in 12 pepper plants and you can see how closely I put them together. A little more distance this way. In Maryland, we don't have a lot of problems with the pepper plants, so I can plant them more closely together. And I recommend experimenting because you don't want to spend all your time and resources filling up a raised bed like this and then just not using it to get maximum production out of there. So 12 peppers do really well in here. This is about six feet long, maybe two and a half to three feet wide at the most works really well. So everything is set up. The Pro Mix is not oversaturated with water, which is a good thing. It makes it light. It's easy to carry with the handle. So you're going to really want to water it in. Now, first step, and this is how I recommend you do it. This is the fish emulsion. It will get these peppers off to a great start. This is a new bed, so I'm giving it fish emulsion right away. Sometimes if this bed was older, a couple years old, it had lots of nutrients in there, I may wait a week for the roots to set up more before I give them the fish emulsion. But this is all you do. Follow the instructions on your water-soluble fertilizer. Water-soluble, again, is immediately available to the plants. And just water them in, something like that. 
And if you want to hang around just another minute, I'm actually going to mulch this up. When you put wood mulch on top of the soil, it doesn't impact your plants. A lot of times you'll hear, don't put wood product, shredded wood, on your garden. It's sort of true. On top, the shredded hardwood or the wood chips act as a mulch. They keep moisture down. If you mix that shredded hardwood or the wood chips through the soil, because they're not fully broken down, they would take nitrogen from the soil, challenge your plants to break down. So as long as you're putting the hardwood on top as a mulch, you're perfectly safe. Your plants aren't going to worry. So we have the lesser soil on the bottom. The roots will go down, deal with that. We have the better soil across the top. The surface roots will go along here, take in the moisture, take in the nutrients. So let me just finish this up and we'll conclude. Okay, I think everything looks pretty good. I do recommend ProMix Premium Organic Gardening Mix for all your garden needs. You can use it anywhere in your garden. We have 12 plants in. Only put in about a half an inch of mulch to start. This will keep the moisture in. Now that it's all set up like this, you wanna really water this in, wash the fish emulsion in, you know, wet the uh, pro mix, wet the soil, wet the organic granular, and just let the soil life start doing its thing. And please subscribe and watch how we take our grow it, eat it garden, transform it into a teaching hub here at Freetown Farm. Thanks for watching, and also please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com.